Hey there, Swappers. In this episode of the OM617 conversion series, I'm going to be going over how to remove the alternator bracket that comes on the OM617 and install our AC adapter bracket. First step is to remove the alternator, obviously, so we already have that done. Then there's going to be four nuts on the passenger side, and then there's a bolt on the front side. They're all 17 millimeter heads, so once you zip all those off, you'll have to work this bolt out of the front. I already have that done too. To get that out, you're probably going to have to remove the crankshaft pulley just to get to that bolt. So it's pretty involved. Um, they're usually about a five and a half millimeter Allen socket to get the crankshaft pulley off. Make sure you index everything and you put everything back on exactly the way you pull it off. So once you get that front bolt out, you get all four of these nuts off, then you have to, at a minimum, loosen the exhaust manifold so you can move the turbo just to get enough room to pull this pesky bracket off. Again, all these nuts are also 17 millimeter, so I've taken all those off, and now I can pull out on the turbo just enough, I don't have to remove it, and this bracket will kind of want to slide off. It's usually kind of a pain to get it off too, you might have to give it some love taps, loosen it up, but you can see here, the bracket's hitting the oil drain tube from the turbo. We get just enough room to pull that off. We'll position our manifold and turbo back how they were. The next step is to remove these four studs. Now a very, very important thing you should know is the bottom rear stud is not a blind hole. It actually goes into the crankcase or inside the block. So if you don't seal that bolt with a thread sealant, it'll actually squirt oil out past that bolt and you'll be wondering where the heck your oil leak's coming from. So if you're wondering how you remove a stud, this is the method I like to use. The nuts that we pulled off, I run one of those on. take the closed end wrench, put that around the back nut, put another nut on, and I take my impact and tighten that nut down pretty tight against that other nut. Now I should be able to loosen the stud out by turning the rear nut. Look at that, it comes right out. This is what the stud looks like when you get it out of the block. So now you're wondering how you get the nuts to separate because holding one wrench in one hand and using an impact, it's going to be pretty difficult. So I'll take another closed end wrench, give yourself just about that much room, and then put your fingers around the outside of the wrenches, and just give a little squeeze and that way you don't have to worry about pinching your fingers and the nuts loosen right up. Piece of cake. So we'll go ahead and repeat the process for these other three studs. Once you get all the studs removed, it's a great time to go in with your tap and just chase these threads, clean them up. There could be rust in there. Usually they're pretty dirty. and. Um, just to be on the safe side to make installation go smoother, we're going to go ahead and clean all these threads out. These threads are all 10 by 1 and a half. The next step is to get out your AC adapter block. And we're going to assemble that. So you put your 
eight millimeter bolts through the back side and we'll start those into the other brackets. We're just going to leave them hand tight for right now. We're not, not tightening them down with an impact. Now there's just enough play that your brackets can move just a little bit. Without adding an extra expense to this part by milling a slot in this base plate to line these brackets up, we're going to use the AC compressor itself to line things up. So we'll take our bracket and we'll start our AC compressor bolts. These bolts we will tighten. You should be able to look at this front edge of the base plate and look at your back bracket and see that everything's lined up parallel. At that point, we can go ahead and tighten down the bolts on the back side. Before we remove the AC compressor bolts, we're going to look and make sure that our uh, bolts protruding through our bracket aren't touching the AC compressor housing. Our next step is to remove the AC compressor bolts that we just put in. So now that you have your AC compressor removed, your bracket should look something like this. These bolts should just barely protrude past the outer brackets. Now that everything's lined up and straight and tightened down, you can go ahead and lay down some welds on each bracket to hold them in place permanently. The reason I don't do this before shipping these out is because eventually I plan to support more AC compressors with this style. And with only a 10 millimeter difference between most major AC compressors, I'll actually be able to use these same parts. I've calculated the size of the bolt heads and the cavity in the block to make sure everything will clear, but you should still just double check to make sure nothing's holding the plate off away from the block. So we'll put our hardware in. Once you get all your hardware started, everything's lined up plates laying on their flat and go ahead and tighten all three but the bottom rear bolt. Now on our last bolt, don't forget we have to put a thread sealer on this to prevent engine oil from coming out. So I'm going to use that same blue Loctite 243 and apply that and we'll torque it down. Now that our adapter is fully assembled and installed, we can go ahead and install our compressor. And now your compressor is installed. So this bracket lines our AC compressor pulley up with the rear water pump pulley. The way we're going to tension this belt is going to be with our aftermarket belt tensioner, which is sold separately. We'll go over how to install that and tension your belt system in another video. If you're wondering why the AC compressor bracket was made this way, instead of just adapting your Toyota bracket, it's because AC compressors are pretty universal. This bracket should fit the 22R compressor, the 3 liter 3VZE, the 3.4 liter 5VZE, the 2RZ, the 3RZ, 
and even some uh, 90s models Jeeps. So it's all a matter of if you have a side mount style AC compressor and if your spacing is the same. If you want to check out the schematics to see if your AC compressor will work with this bracket, go to doomsdaydiesel.net, search the AC compressor bracket, and you can find a schematic on there to compare your measurements to. And that wraps up the installation of the AC compressor adapter bracket on the OM617. So stay tuned, drop me a subscribe so you can continue to be informed of all of our installation videos, and we'll see you next time to finish out the accessory installation.